Let's find the inverse Laplace of this, s e to the negative s over s squared plus 2s plus 2. Now what makes this interesting is that it has both a shift in terms of time and a shift in terms of s. This e to the negative s indicates that we're going to have a shift in time. So if I um, pull that out, and then look at what's left, that s over s squared plus 2s plus 2, I recognize that I also have to find that shift in s. And to do that, I'm going to complete the square, and I'm also going to make sure that my numerator, that s, has to be the s plus 1 to match the s plus 1 in the denominator. Any shift in s, you have to have the same shift anytime you see the s. So I can rewrite it like this, and I've split up the what looks like the cosine and what looks like this sine portions. So what I'm going to use is O from the Laplace table. That is the Laplace transform of f t minus a times u of t minus a is equal to e to the negative a s f s. So I'm starting from the right hand side. I see that my e to the a s, negative a s, in this case a is equal to 1, and then that f of s is going to be what's in the brackets here, this and that. So this is going to be my shift in time. So let's rewrite this as u of t minus 1 times f of t minus 1. So that's from O. So once I have that, I realize I still need to find what f of t is. So I have f of s was equal to that bracket, that s plus 1 over s plus 1 squared plus 1, and that negative 1 over s plus 1 all squared plus 1. So I need to find the inverse Laplace transform of that. When I do that, I find out that that s plus 1, what I'm going to need is now to use n from the Laplace transform sheet. That tells me about my shift in s. So if I have a Fourier transform in the form of s minus a, when I shift it back to, sorry, when I translate it back to the time domain, that is the e to the negative at times f of t. So that means my Laplace transform of this line is e to the negative t, and that takes care of the s plus 1, and the first term is my cosine, and my second term is my sine, and those are both cosine t and sine t. So that is my f of t. I've taken care of the shift in s with that e to the negative t. But if I recall, what I need is not f of t, I need f of t minus 1. So let's rewrite this as f of t minus 1. Anywhere I see a t, I'm going to replace it with a t minus 1. So I have my f of t minus 1, and I have my u of t minus 1. So that means the Laplace transform of s e to the negative s over s squared plus 2s plus 2 is equal to the quantity e to the negative t minus 1, cosine t minus 1, minus e to the negative t minus 1, sine of t minus 1, all times u of t minus 1.